West Trailers, and today we're going to go over stall safety. Now, my goal is to help you find the best trailer to suit your needs and your horse's needs. That's why safety is such a huge factor. It's so easy to get caught up in the fluff of a trailer. And oh, it's got padded dividers and it's got a water tank. Those are the things that really aren't as important. What we really need to look at when we're looking at getting a new trailer for our horse is going to be structure. What is the trailer actually made of? And this is where research comes in. Uh, you really need to do your homework. And of course, I'm here to help you. Uh, this particular trailer that we're in today that I'm going to demo for you is a 2012 Cimarron North Star LX. LX meaning luxury model. So it does have all those uh, optional features and extras on it, which are really nice. But again, we're going to get down to the structure of the trailer. First thing you need to do when you're looking and doing your research is to find out what kind of structural tubing this trailer has got. Does it have full solid square tubes? Are they using hat channel or C channel on that trailer? The hat channel and C channel will of course cut down on the weight of that trailer, but it also will take away from the integrity of the trailer as well. So you don't have that strength. And again, that's something that's really important, you know, especially if you're going to be going down the road all the time. Now granted, if you're just going to little weekend uh, gym conas or trail wide rides and you're not going very far, So, structure, roofs, 
How are they made? Uh, next thing we'll go to is the floor of the trailer. That's another big factor you really want to look at whenever you're purchasing your new trailer. Uh, this particular trailer actually has four inch centers on the floor. So you're going to have a hook over constant support. Uh, a lot of trailers out there, you're looking at 12 inch centers, some eight, some six. Um, you know those 12 inch centers, they, they really, they really bother me. You know, they'll, they'll take a four inch I-beam, they'll run it across there, they'll take one piece sheet aluminum, they'll unroll it, and they'll tack weld it down there. Now, where I have issue is this, with this, if you've got your horse stand in there, you've got a 12 inch center, you're not going to have a hook over constant support. And if you get somebody in there that really gets to pawn and acting like a pig in that stall, they're going to get a divot in that floor from acting goofy like that, or just regular wear and tear. When you get that little divot, that's the first spot the urine's going to go. It's going to start corroding and eating away at that floor, especially if you're not good about taking care of these aluminum floors like you need to. Uh, so that's a big issue there. These particular floors actually plank together at every foot. Uh, interlocks both on top and bottom. So you've got a massive support system for your horse. You know, this trailer is going to be absorbing that vibration and road shock. So that way your horse doesn't have to. Those other floors when you're looking, just remember, you know, your horse is basically walking every mile that you travel. Uh, so you really have to think of how that's affecting him. Is he going to come out of that trailer stove up because of all that vibration? Uh, you know, you get a floor like this on there, you don't have to worry about that near as much. They're not going to be near as fatigued. So that's a big difference for your horse. You know, we, we get the loaded pickups with the leather and the heated seats and the air conditioned seats. The least we can do is give our horse the same comfort. I mean, you know, our horse can be our best friend. Uh, so that's another big factor. You know, find out what kind of alloy they're using on their on these aluminum trailers. Are they using uh, something that's in the 3000 series or something in the 6000 series? Uh, you're looking at 6005 on this particular floor. I mean, you're looking at one of the highest marine grade corrosion resistance floors that you can get. So you'll have years and years of uh, trouble-free boring, which is, which is great. Um, one thing this particular trailer has, and it is a fluff item, but I really do like it. It's got foam cell cushion, and I'll show it to you again. If you look underneath this mat, you can actually see this cushion. It just makes for a nice, smooth ride for those horses, especially on those long hauls. Again, that is fluff, but I do like that, like that cushion in there. Next thing I want to talk to you about is going to be your dividers. Another big feature that seems to be overlooked whenever we're looking at trailers. Now, these particular dividers, if you'll notice, are extremely thick. I mean, you're looking at these being about half an inch thicker than most dividers on the market today. Another thing I want you to look at is the corners, are the welds, the fit and finish along here. Again, strength, integrity, these are things you need to look at. Slam this back in here. You've got a nice recessed slam latch divider. You'll notice it's in here on the door, or excuse me, on the kick wall. You don't have to worry about your horses catching on it. Easy, smooth, almost totally seamless. Another nice thing I like about this system, if you've got a horse in here, and I mean he's giving you fits and he's pushing, um, you know, just wanting to get out, some of those divider systems, you literally have to pull a pin or you've got this latch and you've got to push, you know, that manufacturer is almost asking you to be stronger than your horse. Uh, and that's a safety issue as far as I'm concerned. So with these, it doesn't matter how much pressure he's putting, whether you're trying to get him in or trying to get him out. You literally just lift a finger. She opens right up for you. You know, if you need to get one out in a hurry, that's another great feature. You know, it's those little things like that that really make a difference in the safety for your horse. Um, another thing on these dividers is the depth of them. Love this. These dividers are actually four inches deeper than what you're going to see on almost any divider out there in the market. I like that just because it gives a lot more for your horse to brace up against. You know, whether you've got 
uh, short cutters or whether you've got big dressage horses. You, know, you like to have that room that they can feel comfortable more to brace up against. And even if you do get one that gets to acting a little goofy, um, I remember I had a trailer, her trailer, had a, a horse that actually flipped over in the trailer. It was just an old steel trailer, little junky dividers in it, but she flipped underneath that divider. So I'm always thinking of that because of my personal experience with that a long time ago. So I love that. Um, another feature, you actually have adjustable U-joints on this. So you can always have that same, you know, brand new fit when you just got that trailer. You can adjust these out. So if someone has been a pig in the stall, you can get that proper, proper fit again. Um, these particular dividers, I actually did jail bar on. And I'll, sh I'll show you why here. I really like for my horses to be comfortable. I like to have that airflow coming through here. And not only that, but our horses are herd animals. They like to see each other, they like to be near each other. And they just seem to travel a lot quieter, a lot, just a lot more at ease. Uh, when they can look at one another. Their buddy's right next door to them. Now granted, I mean, if you do have a stud or if you've got a cranky old mare that wants to pick on the yielding next to her, then you do want this to be a full solid partition. Um, you don't want the gel bars then because then he's just going to annoy the other horse and it's going to make for an uncomfortable ride. But if your horses all get along, this is just a great feature to add. Again, circulate that air through here. Another thing when looking at these dividers, when you're searching and shopping for trailers, is what are they using on the dividers as far as construction and materials go? I see a lot of them, they'll just do, you know, inch by inch, square tube, aluminum tube, they'll take one piece sheet of aluminum, that white aluminum, and they'll just rivet it on there. I don't care for that at all. Um, first off, you know, horse can ding it up, and as soon as they ding it up, whether they're trying to get a fly or who knows for whatever reason, get that weak spot there and it's going to tweak out over here where you've got those rivets. It starts tweaking out, that's a bad deal, that safety feature. You know, you can be loading a horse and he can go to do something, he's going to see his buddy tries to get his head over here, comes back over, you know, cuts his muzzle open. So look for that fit finish, you know, how safe is this? You know, I, I, would, I would ask you to go through and rub your hands over these trailers, over the welds. Um, fit finish is huge. If I can cut and hurt my hand, you know your horse can. Um, so that's just another thing to, to look at. Next thing we're going to look at is the windows. You know, with these Cimarron trailers, and again, I'm, I'm picky, and I, I will readily admit that, everything is custom built there at the factory. They're one of the true custom manufacturers left in the United States. You know, they're not just ordering in parts and riveting and slapping the trailers together. Um, there's pride and there's fit and finish and there's integrity in these trailers and that's really what I love. Um, so these particular safety bar grills here, they've got nice radius corners, no sharp edges. You can literally go through here, shake the whole trailer with it. Can you do that for the trailer that you're looking at? Same thing with these drop windows. I would encourage you, and to me that's just a telltale sign. There's so many, you can go out there and I can literally rip a window off on some of those brands out there. If I can break it, imagine what my horse can do. So, you know, go out there and test everything on those trailers whenever you guys are shopping. That's another just easy thing to look at. Um, these particular drop windows, they'll drop all the way down and you can take this safety grill out so you can come in here, you can check you know, check on Old Bay, you can throw him a little bit more hay, uh, that's a nice feature. Some don't come standard with safety bar grills. Highly recommend that you have these safety bar grills. Never, never, never want to haul your horse with his head out the window. Uh, you know, Sam I could come by and that'd be a bad deal. Or even a bumblebee coming up through and catching somebody in the eye. So you really have to you know, just kind of plan ahead and think out for these animals that we love so much and care for. Um, these have two tie rings up in here. These are actually cast aluminum. They are made to break. Uh, reason being, you know, if you tie your horse hard and fast, 
and something happens, you know, heaven forbid you guys get in an accident, or say you're tying your colt up in here and you've done great the last five holes and you feel pretty confident about this little bay horse, go in here and go to untie him. Let's say he throws a fit, gets you pinned up against here. Those ties don't break, you're in a bad situation. So these are made to break, uh, just for safety. Another great feature. Um, last thing I want to show us, I'm trying not to get off on too many tangents here, which I tend to do, is the doors. These doors are something that we use constantly. Uh, unfortunately, a lot, of, a lot of thought doesn't go into them, it seems like. These particular doors are actually six and three quarter inch framing, which is massive. You can literally jack the trailer up off this door. We have pictures, it's been done. Uh, you know, most folks use two and a half inch thick framing, which to me just doesn't cut it. I mean, this is the integrity of your trailer here we're talking about. Grease certs on your hinges. You've got five hinges, you know, look at these little things, you know, are they welded on or are they bolted on so then they can wallow out. Look at simple things like that to see how this trailer is truly put together. Fit and finish is, is huge for me. I mean, you can look at these nice radius corners and Sarah, if you can, if you can zoom in just on the weld, look how beautiful that weld is. I mean, welding aluminum is an art form. To me, if you don't have that fit and finish, and if the part that you can see, you know, the, the exterior of the trailer is rough and crude, imagine what you can't see behind those walls. And that's, that's kind of how I tend to think of things. Um, these come standard with the LED lights, which is another great feature, just bright. Uh, and again, I'm starting to get off on my tangent, so I'll, I'll quit with that. Just a little, little segment here on stall safety things to look for. Know, structure. How is this trailer put together? What are they using? Um, hat channel, C channel, they're using full solid tubes. Find out what kind of alloy they're using on these trailers. Find out what kind of roof it is. Find out what kind of floor it is. Don't be afraid to ask those hard questions. I mean, this is precious cargo that we're talking about. Go in there and don't be afraid to slam those dividers. Another thing, go in there and really start to tweaking on those dividers and see how quiet that trailer is. See what kind of ride that horse is going to have. Well, shoot, let's just show you what I'm talking about. Go in here. That's pretty quiet. And these are all things that, that our horses are will experience while they're back here riding in this trailer. So go and do all that research. Uh, if there's anything I can help you with, please be sure to email me or give me a call. So again, structure. Look at the roof. trailers put together. Um, you know, run your hands over it, slam all the doors, kick all the walls, uh, try to tweak on those windows, see if you can break them. You know, what else? If you can break a window on that trailer, what else can you break on that trailer? Just really look at it from your horse's standpoint. Don't get caught up in the fluff. Don't buy one just because it matches your truck. Let's make sure it's safe for you. Again, it's Trisha with Trans West. Thank you all for listening to me. Hope you have a great day.